Paris, the unseeded pair of Eri Hozumi and Mikoto Ninomiya advanced to the final four of the women's doubles at the French Open on Wednesday, beating top seeds Taimiya Babad and Kristina Ladenovic 7-6, 7-4, 6-3 in the quarterfinals. Their victory over the Australian Open champions marks the first time in 16 years a Japanese team has booked a place in the semi-finals at Roland Garros, with Aisu Giyama and Rika Fujiwara being the last to accomplish the feat, I tried not to let them have it easy. I can't get over the excitement, Ozumi said after the 1-hour, 44-minute match. We've come this far so I want to break through the semi-final wall and make it to the final, Ninomiya said, it helped that we won the opening set. They had more chances but we took that set, and that created momentum. I think we inflicted damage on our opponents. I want to get past the last four, on Wednesday, Hozumi and Ninomiya bounced back from 3-5 to five down in the first set against the Hungary-France duo, turning the tide with a service break in the ninth game and Ninomiya delivering an unreturnable forehand volley to clinch the tiebreaker. Last year, Hozumi and Miyu Kato together reached the double semi-finals at the Australian Open, while Ninomiya partnered with Czech Renata Vorkova when she made her semi-final appearance at Wimbledon. Hozumi and Ninomiya will face number 8 seeds Chen Haoqing of Taiwan and Yang Zhaozan of China in the semis. No Japanese pair has reached the women's doubles final in a Grand Slam event. Meanwhile, Rafael Nadal was two points from pulling even at a set apiece in his surprisingly intriguing French Open quarterfinal, but the match was suspended because of rain. So both Nadal, the 10-time champion at Roland Garros, and 11th seeded Diego Schwartzman, attempting to reach a Grand Slam semi-final for the first time, were given a night to rest before they are scheduled to resume Thursday. When they return to the stadium, Nadal will be serving at 5-3, 30-15 in the second set. Schwartzman took the opener 6-4, ending Nadal's streak of winning 37 consecutive completed sets at the clay court major. During the ensuing changeover, the left-handed Nadal was treated by a trainer, who applied white tape to both of the number one ranked Spaniards' wrists. In the other remaining quarterfinal, which will continue Thursday at court Suzanne Langlin, no. Rima Rinchilic and number 5 Juan Martin Del Potro were at 5-5 in a first set tiebreaker when the play-ending shower came. Both men's matches already had been interrupted by rain once. For Nadal, that happened when he was down a break at 3-2 in the second set, and a delay of a little less than an hour seemed to help him begin to change course against Schwartzman, a 170cm Argentine who was putting nearly every shot right where he wanted to in the early stages. Nadal was far from his usual impeccable self on red clay, too. He had only four winners in the first set, none with his backhand, while Schwartzman produced 20 in that span. Nadal was broken five of the first eight times he served. This is a guy who entered the day 5-0 against Schwartzman, having won 12 of their sets. Looking at the bigger picture, Nadal hadn't seeded a set in Paris since 2015, when he lost to Novak Djokovic in the quarterfinals. The following year, Nadal won a pair of straight set matches before withdrawing with an injured tendon in his left wrist. And last year, he earned the trophy without dropping a set. The 37-set run was Nadal's longest at the French Open, where the record of 41 was established by Bjorn Borg from 1978 to 81. More important than that, of course, is the match's ultimate outcome, and a significant moment came with Schwartzman serving while up 3-2 in the second after the initial delay. Nadal hit a floater that was possibly headed wide, yet Schwartzman attempted a volley that missed. It gave Nadal a break point he converted when Schwartzman sailed a forehand long. Nadal pumped his fist and yelled, Vamos! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That was part of a 15-minute roll of three consecutive games for Nadal, a wave during which he collected 13 of 15 points to close in on that set. He was unable to finish the job before the weather made him wait. 